now that we're parked, I'd like to take a look at what's causing our check engine light as well as the ABS and traction control to see if there's any kind of breadcrumbs or uh, error codes inside the computer system. If you go to the windshield wiper stock and you press the enter key, it brings up a menu. And if you press this little button down, it moves through the menu. And what we're going to go to is vehicle diagnostics. I'm going to highlight that and then press this enter key. And it'll let us look at all of the fault diagnostics. So we can look at all of the ECUs and I'm going to select each one. It'll tell you whether there are active or inactive faults. or overspeed, electrical fault that's inactive, <clears throat> we had it happen three times and if you look at the mileage when the first event was, it was quite some time ago at 80,000 kilometers, so that's quite a time, time in the past. If we look at the transmission, no faults, brake ECU, wheel sensor ABS, axle left three, and it is active. Set that. Instrument cluster, coolant temperature gauge, inactive, happened a while ago. No real data on that one, so we've got something in the vehicle ECU, climate. else to look into. So these menus I think are really valuable information to let you know what's going what's been going on with the truck. Total distance, fuel used engine hours, and idle time. So there's our menu. 